Quad admitted her part in spreading the rumor about Toya's alleged affair. And then she goes on to throw Anila under the bus because It's Liz with the Biz. It's Liz with the Biz. Hey, hey, this is Liz, and once again, we're keeping up with the biz of what went down on Married to Madison, The Reunion Part 2. So let's get into it. On this episode, Andy Fletta asked Anila, do she think that Victoria had anything to do with the break-ins at her home? Now, she was very reluctant to say the way that she feels about it, but she finally says no. So the lie detector says, this is inconclusive, because why did you hesitate so much? And saying no, that you did not think that Toya had anything to do with the break-ins. Not one, but two. We found out there were two break-ins at your home. But you was reluctant to say that she did not have anything to do with it. Could it be that you don't want there to be a lawsuit against you? So that was very smart on Anila's part. Not to be accusatory and say that Toya had anything to do with the break-ins at her home and poor anila she is having trouble sleeping at night after those two break-ins at her lovely home and the thing about it is is that she lives in a gated community so if it can happen in a gated community it seems like it can happen anywhere anila is very fortunate to have a husband that is a plastic surgeon because he uses her face as a pincushion. We often see her getting injections, getting fillers put in her face. So the question was towards Quad. And he has heard that Quad gets fillers in her face. And Quad denies this. She said she ain't had nothing done to her face. She said that is a flat or lie. She just naturally looks good at the fabulous age of 40 she don't need no plastic surgery she don't need no injection she don't need no fillers she said she is all natural but andy didn't just accept that answer you know he had to be a little bit messy so he asked anila what do you think do you think that quad has anything done to her face and anila said no comment here you go again girl the question was a yes or no answer and you didn't answer the question so that makes people think that you think that Quad has something done to her face. And Quad was like, really? So Quad was none too happy about your answer because we all know that you and Quad are supposed to be friends. You both went and got the lie detector test and brought the proof on the show. So we know that y'all have been collaborating together behind the scenes, but you didn't back her up in this situation. And Quad is none too happy about this. So it seems like Quad is going to turn on Anila. We will get to the part about Quad turning on Anila. They did touch on some touchy subjects during this episode, like the Roe v. Wade being turned over. And how did the lady doctors feel about this? And uh, they, not only the doctors, but the ladies in general, seems like they were all not in favor of the Roe v. Wade getting overturned. Now, Dr. Heavenly, even though she is a woman of faith, she said that there are other people that do not have the same beliefs that she has and that this should not be forced on them. And according to Dr. Simone, sometimes the fetus have lethal abnormalities where no matter how long they carry the baby, it is not going to survive outside of the uterus. So these ladies are in favor of a woman's right to make the decision on whether or not they would carry the baby full term or not. Now the subject turns to Toya and the issues that she is having in her relationship as she feels alone in her relationship because Eugene is always working. He is working 12 hour shifts and then he sleeps for 10 hours of the day. So that means he only have two hours to spend at home. But if he only has two hours left, that means how about his commute time? So really he has no time to spend spend with his family and Toya kind of feels alone in this relationship so they talk about those rumors and any you knows that Toya is cheating on her husband and so they're trying to get to the root of where these rumors had started so Quad stepped up to the plate and she said that she did not start the rumor but she helped perpetrate the rumor because she was upset with Toya about those rumors out there alleging that she had slept with a married man so she helped spread the rumor to get back at Toya because she wanted her to feel her pain. 
she went on to apologize to toya but toya said guess what i did not have anything to do with those rumors about you sleeping with a married man so quad is not believing it quad admitted her part in spreading the rumor about toya's alleged affair and then she goes on to throw anila under the bus because we see that anila is denying that her friend that she brought to the party so everybody wants to know how did the rumor get started in the first place and according to quad she wasn't a part of starting the rumor she was only a part of spreading the rumor she said the rumor started when they had a ladies night at anila's house and her friends was talking about toya having this alleged affair so apparently it was one of anila's friend or some of the neighbors around there where toya used to say that started this rumor and anila all this time have been acting like she didn't know where this rumor started and when anila went to the party she was acting like she was blindsided by quad and that she did not know that this friend i believe that this friend might be one of the people that started the rumor allegedly she did not know that this friend was coming to quad's party so in essence she was making it look like quad had set up the situation and that she did not know anything about it according to anila she was just being a driver and drove the woman to the party she had no idea until the day of or the day before or something like that that this rumor spreader was coming to quad's party so anila and quad are all in cahoots with this rumor out there about toya like i said on my last review quad and anila are both in cahoots i mean they both went and took a lie detector test it's easy to see that they have been planning things behind the scene but quad then came clean and said you know that she was being vengeful towards toya however anila uh, still seems to be in denial now quad she went ahead and apologized to toya and uh, anila seems like she was not going to apologize until contessa say girl so you're sorry and then she finally said she's sorry but she said she's sorry that the three of them was talking about toya now the apology would have been okay if you had just apologized for yourself and let the other two women apologize for themselves especially since quad is already apologizing so anila is always up here acting innocent but looks like she may be the shadiest one of them all now even though quad done threw anila under the bus anila went to quad's dressing room and tried to confront quad and quad said one thing that she is not she is not a liar and asked anila girl what are you afraid of are you afraid of toya and quad said girl i did not say that you started the rumor but it seems like they was all at your house when the rumor really really began and later we see anila telling quad that she values her friendship girl what do quad got on you did she got some more on you and you tell quad to hug you and kiss you on the lips this anila girl she is sneaky and heavily thinks that anila does not have the brains to plan things but i don't know about that it seems like she might be part of the mastermind behind a few things but anyway toya is still going through some things with eugene she's going through some situations in her marriage which made people think that maybe this rumor might be believable but it seems like they are trying to work things out eugene you know he got out of being full-time in the emergency room but we found out that he is still part-time in the emergency room and not only that he has taken over another job i believe as a director of a hospice facility so you know toya is still not happy with the situation with eugene working all the time but maybe he need to work to pay off some liens this according to andrea Adria the attorney and Adria the attorney did not make an appearance because she is having contractions so apparently she might be done had her baby she was on the way to the hospital during this reunion so they done questioned Toya about the situation that is going on with her marriage 
now they is questioning her about her finances she brought receipts to show that she almost made a million dollars off of the sale of her home so andy asked the question is it smart for toya to be moving so much and um was it smart for toya to sell her home but according to dr heavenly it is smart if you have some debts that you need to pay off and toya was like well who told you that we are in debt heavenly said audrey the attorney then already said that there are that you have debt and uh toya said you know how do we know that she is telling the truth so heavenly is not convinced that toya is making all this money but two things can be true she could be making money and she could be paying off debts as well now we all know that in the past toya has said that she has had tax issues with the irs but you know she had a party uh celebrating that she had paid off those debts now they have showed that toya have moved about four times within the last eight years and since about three of those homes were rentals it appears that she was not making money every time she made a move but thank goodness that she made money when she sold the home that she had built she would just have to wait until the interest rate go down again before she built a new home i would think but anyway it seems like most of this episode once again was about toya 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 so it appears that Toya and the mishap in her marriage seems to be carrying the show. All right, so what else went down on this episode is that Andy had to be a bit shady towards Dr. Heavily. So he played a game and he asked the ladies to raise their hands. The first question was, raise your hand if Dr. Heavily has talked about your looks. So that was everybody on the show. Apparently, Dr. Heavily has talked about everyone looks of the ladies on the show. So the next question was, raise your hand if Dr. Heavily has talked about your wardrobe. And Dr. Simone raised her hand on that one. So apparently, Dr. Heavily has talked about the way that Simone dresses. And the last question was, raise your hand if Dr. Heavily has talked about your finances. So that was Toya. But everyone is talking about Toya's finances. And this is the reason why she has brought all of these receipts to the reunion. So apparently, Dr. Heavily has been shady to all of the ladies. Now, a viewer did write in and take up for Dr. Heavily in her shady ways. They said that these ladies um, should be ashamed of themselves because they acted like they have not talked about each other on the show as well. And they are just upset because Dr. Heavily is funny. Uh, so Andy wants to know are the ladies jealous of Dr. Heavily because she has the better reads and Quad was like absolutely not because of course Quad feels like she has the best reads and Contessa agreed that Dr. Heavily does not have the best reads but Dr. Heavily was upset and she said B I have better reads than you and it's just lies over there so these two went back and forth with each other contessa and heavenly and it seems like they was calling each other every name in the book they were calling each other the b word they were calling each other h wood and andy could not get them to stop and quad had to step in and get them to stop and contessa said you better be glad that they have security up in here so in other words she is saying that she would have beat Dr. Heavily pretty much if security was not in the building. You know, she had approached Dr. Heavily before the show, and it seems like Dr. Heavily was on the run and got highly upset. But now that security was around, oh, she was feeling empowered. She was feeling herself. And, of course, we all know that Dr. Heavily don't want it with the Contessa physically because Contessa is not only is she a doctor, but she is also a bodybuilder, as we saw on this season of the show. So Contessa is still highly upset with Dr. Heavily for talking about her marriage there on her YouTube channel. Because according to Simone, uh, Contessa felt like she was Dr. Heavily's friend. You know, they was going on trips with each other. And she did not feel like she would talk about her like that on her YouTube channel. So as we all saw, Heavily got a question from one of her viewers asking her if they thought that Contessa was in an abusive relationship. And Heavenly spoke her mind. She said that she feels like she's in 
an emotional and a verbally abusive relationship and contessa is highly upset about this about her calling her doctor husband abusive so i guess you don't think that because that she is, he is a doctor that i guess she feels like the man can do no wrong but we all saw on the last season about all the turmoil that was going on in the relationship between these two and how there was issues because she wanted to go to school and she could not depend on scott to be there to take care of the children so i think they had to hire a nanny or something like that and also when the man would receive phone calls while she was away one of the daughters would answer the phone and say that this is your girlfriend on the line and scott thought that that was funny so what is funny about that having a wife and then talking about you got your girlfriend calling you so that was just crazy and so dr heavenly spoke her mind and said that she thought that she was in both an emotionally as well as a verbally abusive relationship but contessa is not having it this is what is going on between these two apparently these two are not friends anymore but what else is going on is that there was a twitter beef between simone and quad of all people so it appears that it started with simone tweeting out quad's polygraph proves absolutely nothing hashtag poor thing and next she tweeted out when a fraud reveals herself believe it so this is what simone had to say on her page so let's see what quad had to say in response to this quad says she believes in polygraphs because the federal contract pays her and she's living well and also she says it's shocking that you would say polygraph tests are not real and no one believes it when our good sister carmen who is your biological sister had to take and pass one to be hired by the u.s government to provide information technology it so she let us know where simone's sister works or what she does and she rolls on to say i know i'm a natural leader at all but darn dr s whitmore y'all talking ish about me why does the rebuilding have to start with me but noted it will take a trailblazer want it so i guess quad considers herself a trailblazer so this is what is going on between dr simone whitmore and quad but it seems like they were pretty much getting along at the reunion so i don't know if they still have beef or not now they did bring the men out they talked about the situation of eugene and toya getting mad at carrie and anelia coming as movers for their halloween costumes eugene was highly upset about that so you know if you make it so much money from these moves why are you so upset and even though eugene expressed to carrion that he was very upset you know carrion still thinks that it was funny and he said being that you are friends and you see how upset that he is do you wish that you had apologized to him sooner and carrion said no so he is just as shady as his wife these two are two shady characters so there will be a part three to this reunion and we're going to see scott attempt to rap anyway this is what is going on on married to medicine these are just my thoughts and opinion of what went down on married to medicine the reunion part two let me know what you thought about the episode by leaving a comment below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel yes subscribe to the youtube channel it's your girl liz keeping up with the biz in the mouth it's liz with the biz it's liz with the biz it's liz with the biz yo this is liz with the biz it's liz with the biz telling it how it is and she gonna keep it real because it is what it is it is what it is yo this is liz with the biz